So hi guys, I didn't speak of anything in the intro. I wanted to just try to do something different with the channel and how I um, come into the channel as an introduction. Um, but I wanted to just share with you guys that <clears throat> I am feeling good. I am feeling so good. Um, today is Friday. I didn't put up a vlog well, by the time you get this video, it'll be Wednesday. I didn't, so I have to explain why I didn't put a vlog up for today, which it will be like next Friday, um, moving forward in time. <laughs> um, I didn't put a, a vlog up because, man, I, I was not feeling well and I wasn't just not feeling well. I wasn't feeling myself um, and I just needed to take a little small teeny tiny break as a mom and um get some stuff done and tender to my son um and my family we're still going through the whole process of my aunt having um cancer and she is she's having one of those mean cancers i don't know if you guys um know anything about it or ever been through it now this is my will be my second time being through it um what, because I dealt with it with my uncle, um, he had cancer and he was a little bit of mean, but he wasn't a lot of mean. Uh, but my aunt, she is overwhelming mean. <laughs> um, but my mom has really, really been a great sister to her. Um, and um, later today, I'll probably go to my home and go over and just sit with her and talk with her and stuff like that and just kind of calm her down. There's, I know there's a lot that her, she is going through right now. She is facing, she's possibly scared. Um, and so, um, like I said, she's in stage four. Um, and we're not giving up. She's not giving up and we're going to push towards it. But it's just a matter of the help, <laughs> you know. Um, so... Um, I just ask you guys to continue to keep us in your thoughts and your prayers. Um, and I just want to say in advance, thank you so much. But yeah, I just need to take a little small tiny break this Friday today, which is today. And just focus on like my son. Like I say, my son, he's doing his whole in-home virtual learning school thing and it's 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 a lot you guys if you have kids you know what it is and what it's dealing with when you're doing virtual learning and the zoom thing and it's just it's it wears you out as much as it wears out the teacher because they have so much more to deal with than the parents so um i just kind of took a little little tiny break <laughs> y'all sis and I tell you I feel so good like I feel great like even when I'm I was taking my break I literally was filming this and I just felt so empowered as a woman as a mother <clears throat> to keep going to keep my mind open to keep my heart um, open as well and to keep that positive energy going um, and I love sharing my positive energy with you guys and I hope that you guys will share it with someone else. But no matter what your struggle is, no matter what you're going through, no matter where your day is, no matter if somebody talked about you, no matter if you had to cuss somebody out, still take the time to pray, ask God for forgiveness, and <laughs> and keep pushing, keep positive, keep that energy going. Um, I know right now at this time, like there's a lot of negative negativity going around. And I do believe that and um, but you can fight that and you could fight it with your positive energy and trust me that negative energy will will disappear <laughs> but anyways enough of that you guys I do want to share that I um, I'm gonna take a trip to Ho's Foods um, there's one right up the street from me now Ho's Foods do not accept government assistance which will be the food stamp so I am coming out of pocket, you guys, but I think I need to talk to you guys about this on the day I go to Whole Food. I guess I just feel so good that I can come to my sisters and my my bros, my brothers, and talk to y'all um, because, like, I'm feeling so good. But we didn't come for that. We came to see what I'm doing. Um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and start washing clothes. Now I try to keep it laundry detergent, fabric softener, focus, and the uh, crystals at a minimal. I don't want to use a lot of stuff. Now I was into the um, Purcell. I got three left. I went ahead and bought some. Guys, these are so expensive. But I did find a coupon for like $3 off on a whole thing of it. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some more. But these were my last three. But I definitely want to try the uh, Todd Simply Oxy. My friend was telling me about it. And she said it, it really fights stains and stuff like that. I have a whole 8 year old son. And he, you guys, if you have a son or kids, period. Y'all know what I'm going through. The sugar is real. And then especially like with sheets and, you know, um, white clothes and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to go ahead and try these. Now I did already open them because I wanted to smell them. And I also wanted to show you guys what they look like if you're not, um, I guess let me sit the camera down you guys. And I'm going to fumble, fumble with this because it's not opening. But if you're not familiar with the Tide, Simply Tide Pods, like I wasn't, it was my first time ever just seeing one of these. Look at so much liquid in these. It's so crazy. Now with the Parcel ones, they also have the Oxy, the laundry detergent, and the softener in one thing. But this one just has the um, liquid. And I just want to go ahead and try this. I kind of want to cut back on softener, you guys. Because it, like, I don't know. Like, I need to find a softener that, that doesn't make my skin itch. Me and my son has sensitive skin. So we have to, I have to constantly figure out what we need to use which is okay but these is what it looks like it's just a blue liquid and I'm sure you can buy these buy this in the bottle but I am so used to using these now because you can just as a mother you try to find something easy when you get off of work sis like nobody wants to be pouring stuff you can just pop it in there just pop it in there I'm gonna show you how you do it <laughs> this is a, a small load so you could just pop one in there but if it was like a double load um I definitely would just see we have like just towels and sheets and stuff like that but I do do my laundry at mom's house um because my dryer is acting up at home so it's been a battle trying to get it fixed and get or get it removed so I can get my own but I figured if I'm going to be moving um this year um I'm going to just go ahead and buy me a new washer and dryer and just have my own um and I feel like if I have to pay for anything at least you know if I'm paying for it it's mine and I'm not paying for it for the next person that comes along um and I'm renting a condominium home so um yeah <laughs> But yeah, you just pop this one other thing in there. It's easy as that, mama. It's easy as that. And then, so I do have this Purex Crystal Fabulous. Uh, fabulous okay, I'm sound twisted. But you get the um, scent brand here. Fabulously <laughs> Fresh um, scent thing. So I bought all this at Dollar General. I love Dollar General because you can find um, really nice coupons on the Dollar General app. Um, but you just have to be mindful of the coupons and what you need to buy and what what size and what quantity, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, but I do have a Dollar Tree coupon haul that I put up on my video. If I don't get a chance to link it below, definitely find it in my videos um, section. And it should be like something with the Dollar Tree um, coupons. Um, but I, yeah, I go straight through straight through everything how I basically messed up um and how they basically messed up too as well and I had to go back and get my money back and then redo everything over it was just crazy and this is the stuff that I bought that had the coupons so yeah just go and search for that video or um I probably will link it below but just in case I don't get a chance to link it below um yeah it's just a Dollar Tree coupon or not a Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just a Dollar General coupon um, haul. Um, but, yeah. Um, and I think it has, like, my son's school supplies and stuff, like, in there. And then the same stuff that I'm using today. But this, yeah, this right here, it smells so good, you guys. It smells so, so, so good. So, just one of those. And if you wanted to add extra um, laundry detergent, I would 
definitely say go in with a I'm one of the people that are simple and I shop at Walmart um um for like laundry stuff and or Dollar General um and if Dollar Tree has some stuff then I'll try to figure that out too but at Walmart they have on the if you're a mom on a budget like I am they have the extra laundry detergent now I love that laundry detergent they do have sensitive for since they have the extra laundry detergent for sensitive skin and then they also have the uh, extra laundry detergent for um, like the oxy what we're using here you can just mix it um, a little bit in your you know, detergent dispenser and if you want to go ahead and use softener that's up to you but today I'm just not gonna deal with it because I really don't want to um, now these right here are more for the dryer but I've used them inside of the wash and um, it didn't really I don't know it didn't really I don't want to say get the job done but it just didn't do anything because the whole washer has the spin cycle and stuff like that and all you hear is just boom 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 which whether um, um, I'd rather not hear it. Um, but anyways, I got these at Dollar Tree, you guys. Two of these for one dollar. And, um, my sister loved them as well. And I got her two of them, too. I don't know. She just used them for therapeutic, like, rubbing them in her hands. She feels so good. She comes to calm her down. So, if you're looking for something that, um, if you're depressed about some or stressed, get you some of these at Dollar Tree. And light a candle and do some yoga or meditate and put these in your hand and rub them and it should like um get you get you get you together i guess sis but anyways my sister says she likes it so yeah but anyways you guys um i'm gonna go ahead and start the washer up and let me just show you what i like to use i just turn it on hit power um and she sings to you sis <laughs> And then I don't, I'm not going to do a heavy duty because we don't have a lot of stuff in here. So I'm going to do quick wash. Um, I rarely do normal, but I'm going to do quick wash. And then I'm going to go, I could do eco. Some people think eco is just cold water. It's really not cold water. It's a between mixture between the cool and the warm. So what I'm going to do um, for this load, I'm probably going to go hot because we do have comforter and pillowcase and uh i think um bath towels so they're gonna need some extra washing so i'm gonna go but any other time if i have clothes or whatever i'll do equal because that saves a lot a lot of money on your washer um your water i'm sorry yeah your water <laughs> um so yeah it saves a lot of money on your water so if you have that button an option uh for eco warm uh, definitely go ahead and use it because it does save a ton save you a ton and so we all have like a option of low mild high or extra high um, and this is only for the water right here so I'm going to go high because I want the clothes to be drenched in water and the only reason why I would go extra high is because I had if I had a bigger load but today I don't have a bigger load so I'm just going to go Hi. and then I'm gonna start her up and she does have the lock feature on her so it's good for the kiddo because sometimes kids like to open up these washers and girl that's like a scary situation so I'm just really glad for this if whenever I do get me a, a townhome or something these are the ones that I want the wash and dryer systems that I want because they're so big I also wanted to get the ones where you can look inside because I think it's more therapeutic for me to see my clothes get washed or see what how dirty my clothes is if that makes any sense but yeah look at this pretty flower you guys speaking of flowers I I'm honestly thinking about and I'm gonna do it honestly thinking about me and mom had grown some um, uh, vegetables in her garden but I didn't I wasn't serious about taking care of the garden so mom took over and she um, she grew bell peppers and tomatoes and stuff like that so I was just watching her and I was like man if my mom can do it like seriously I'm gonna do it my mom has a nice house so she has a lot of room for garden and so I'm gonna go ahead and buy some seeds and seedlings and try to make my own garden if that makes any sense but yeah um, this is a nice flower I'm not sure what kind of flower it is you guys does it have a 
little thing in there, but I think one's dead in here. I'm gonna pick it and see if she she's my mama's my mom. She, she um she loves her flowers. She knows all her flowers, honey. And if you touch her flowers, she's gonna know you touched it. So I'm gonna see if she's know that I noticed I touched and pulled her old dead leaf. But this is a pretty pretty flower. But I cannot wait to start like gardening and stuff like that because just get my mom off of things um, as a mom and you know all that good stuff but anyways you guys um, I'll be back once this wash stops so I just did this I came back because this is just a whole mom hack here you guys like okay um what is it uh Al Bundy Peg Bundy uh bum buns if y'all know what I'm talking about uh married with children if you looked at that show before, let me know in the comment section below. But she used to eat all them bonbons all the time. Girl, look, you can hold, you can literally lay out a parchment paper um, and make sure you have some hot water so that you can dip your scoop in, scooping out, um, and have these little balls. Put them on a the parchment paper, put Hershey's syrup on them, then place them back inside of the freezer. You got you a whole bum bum, a nice little snack for um, movie night or something like that. Or just because go outside and sit outside and just enjoy life with your little bum bum, honey. Okay, this is just a whole mom hack here. But anyways, I'm making my son like a little um, um, chocolate um, sundae kind of like. Um, and I normally don't let him have this, but if you guys know any other... Uh, ice cream healthy-ish for um, uh, like this non-dairy or whatever let me know in the comment section below as well because I'm just trying to switch him is there any um is there such thing as almond ice cream I don't know um, but just let me know but I'm just gonna put a little bit on there he deserves it because my son has been working hard in school he's been doing really good I'm gonna put some how does strawberries sound on top? I cut some of these strawberries and blueberries up. It has like grapes in there. Really quick for him to grab out of here. Um, let me put these down really quick. But it's really good for him, my son, to grab these fruits out of there. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. But should I put like blueberries or strawberries? I think strawberries would go good with that. Should I cut them up or just leave them whole? I want to see what that looks like. He's eight, so he can, he knows how to um, bite into stuff and stuff like that without just, I'm going to put three in there because he ate all his food today. And by the way, he had like nachos. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> A nice little creation for the kiddo. And these are only, um, right, this right here, I got it from, I think, Amazon, or I ordered it online somewhere. I just seen it, it was pink, it was, um, for breast cancer, and I went ahead and just ordered it, and, um, to support breast cancer. If you guys notice, I, like, love, love, love pink, so, um, I do it for a cause, and plus my aunt, um, it was for my uncle, but, for my aunt now because she has um breast cancer and um two i think two other cancers but yeah i'm gonna be supporting them a whole 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 lot now and i'm probably gonna be doing the walk probably me and my sister is gonna be doing that walk for my aunt um whenever it comes up and so yeah i'm gonna be researching a lot of stuff dealing with that and um, so that we can uh support her and stuff like that and support everybody else that is struggling right now with breast cancer. Even if you are a recovered um, breast cancer uh, patient um, and you're you're done with it and you, you don't have to be, you, you're basically cancer free. Uh, still support your, your cancer, uh, your other cancer patients because they need all the love you guys. But yeah, let me get this to him before it melts in. It is 11 something. I made that coffee, you guys. I'm going to warm it up and have some more. But I've been on this whole, let me show you guys. I've been on this whole water journey. Like, this is the second day that I've had some water. It is 11.46 and I need to be down at 12 p.m. So, 
um basically it's just saying you feeling awesome which i told you guys earlier i did i do feel awesome and so i put in there um it's detox water but i put um infused fruits in there so i have strawberries blueberries and some uh, cut up lemon in there and those lemon are i think a day old lemon but it still tastes really really good and so i'll do this um to well whenever i decide i want to stop drinking water because anyways i do infuse a little bit of um sparkling uh sparkling lemon water as well in there and it tastes so 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 good i got some of the lemon water from aldi i don't think i put that haul up but i did get some water from sparkling water from aldi and you guys it tastes so 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 good so whenever i go back to aldi which is just up the street from my house i will definitely see if they have a case of it and start drinking it like that because i'll fill the water up to like about eight o'clock a.m and then the rest will be just in um sparkling water um so i just honestly leave it out on the counter for maybe two or three hours to let the fruits infuse and stuff and then i place it in the refrigerator but throughout the day i'll start drinking and whatever time it says i'll try to meet my goal or whatever but i just love when it gets here normally i'm sleep i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm sleep by seven but um last night i really didn't drink all my stuff until this morning but um so yeah i'm having extra water <laughs> So yeah, um, I, I can't wait to get here because it says yes you yeah you did it, um, and I'm not going to lie I haven't been working out I worked that one day and then I didn't work out anymore, um, but today me and my son we're going to take a walk we're going to really take a walk, um, but I'm not going to take a a long walk because I do have the kid and he is not going to walk with me far so we'll probably do like 45 minutes of walking and that's it, um, so yeah. Let's see what he says about this yummy dessert. Ashton. You want to come get your lovely dessert? Look at this. Don't you look good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to try, it? Want to try it in front of the in front of our our friends? And let them know how it's how good it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum yum yum. And plus it has fruit in it. Oh. This, you know what? Remember the, uh, oop. We need to talk to Nana about this hair situation. <laughs> it's good? Okay. You want to show them your shirt? It says, my mom gets the best amazing hugs. Thank you for opening your arms because I needed this. Ah, I love you. And remember to subscribe, click the notification bell. And there is one and give remember give us a thumbs up and never give us a thumbs down. Never. Ever. Never. <laughs> oh, he's so cute, isn't he? You guys. So let me clean this mess up and then I'll come right back. I think that wash the washer is um the clothes are getting ready to stop because that's where it's on the spin cycle. So but yeah, anyways, I've been drinking. This is not a gallon of water. This is only a half a gallon of water. So this is only 64 ounce. And this is as much as I can drink. I'm not one of those persons that can drink like a whole gallon of water, obviously. Um and but this right here is really, really good. I can finish it. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to finish it once I go on my walk. But anyways, you guys, if you guys want to enjoy my walk, I would definitely film that. But I just need to clear some things off the camera. And yeah. So I'll see you in just a few. So guys, honestly, this the clothes have been stopped. Um, but I was doing other things like cleaning around my son's desk and stuff like that. Just really quick like wasn't filming material. I was just really rushing through. And um, it's really important you guys to go ahead and clean your, I call it my dust bunny trap. <laughs> but my lint trap for your clothes. Um, because all that old lint can get on your um, freshly washed clothes and it's just a whole shamble when that happens so make sure each and every time that you get through drying clothes you check your um, dust bunny lint basket um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put those inside the dryer 
and then I did decide to use some of the Tandale Ultra Soft Fresh Linen Fabric Softener um, dryer sheets um, because I do have some sheets and pillowcases in there that I definitely want to smell fresh. You can purchase these at your local Aldi. They are like a dollar and something. And I haven't purchased them since last year. So these last me a long time because I think I went the beginning of last year which was 2020. And I've been having these ever since. I simply changed my uh, fabric sheets a lot. So I've just been holding on to these. I didn't want to get rid of them. They still smell fresh. I had them in a Ziploc bag. So that's the way that you can really keep them fresh is just keep them in a Ziploc bag and they'll be okay. These are compared to the Bounce Fresh Linen and um, it really do smells like Bounce. It smells really good. It leaves a great smell, um, lingering smell to your clothes and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and put that, put these clothes inside the dryer and then the, um, the little dryer sheets, fabric softener sheets inside and yeah um i'm probably gonna take the clothes out off camera due to probably underwear and stuff like that bras and stuff like that i don't want to be showing y'all all the goods um but um yeah i'm gonna take these out put them in a dryer and then once i get to the dryer i'll definitely um show you guys me putting the dryer sheets in now my son is gonna put um let's put like six of them in since One, we got other clothes two, in. three four five and six right on the dot date now. okay so now we are going to move this out the way Power on. Alright. And wait, hold on, hold on. We gotta do let's do time dry, which is there. And then we're gonna do it on high because we want to get our stuff dry really quick in 60 minutes. Or we're gonna do 80 minutes and press start. And now press start. Just wait for the final moment. Da -da 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 -da. You Ooh. 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 That shook you, girl. They did. You over here doing the body, yada, 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 yada. She doing the body, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> oh. Are you 